Hello friends, welcome back. So now uh, there is another way also that like we have register meta and we have did some of the things so that it could be useful in the front end and we have seen how we can add a uh, links as well, right? So now talk about let's talk about um, registering rest field. Okay, so here if you go here into register rest field, in the register rest field, it's a uh, needed object type attribute and the arguments and again we have to add it uh so what are the callback function regarding modifications of anything about the rest api we have to use rest api init action okay so that uh, our callback function only be executed whenever there is a rest api request right and and for not a front end or the admin request okay so how we can so so uh here we have did this too many things okay and but uh, still it's not uh, easiest way or i would say because we have to register a meta and we have to add the links which is, which are really end up embeddable so that the user can get all the information they they require to display in the front end right um so for example like we are displaying the list of the movies and we have to say that what are the actors uh acting did acting into that movie so we just to pass the name uh the actor name and their uh, link to that uh, profile page like single post page, so single person post page right so from the current uh registering the meta and by adding the links and which are be embeddable the user uh, we can get all the information from here but if we are embedding we are calling the embedded data it will it will be some time consuming because it will be again fetching all the in uh, rest api response for all the given links okay for, uh, in the single request and then it will be uh, embed uh, uh, added into the response okay so sometime it make it may be slow uh, depends how much content are there in your site probably right so we can we can uh, we can make things easy using the register rest field so what i have did is um, i have added another function mlb register rest field and hooked onto the rest api endpoint okay rest api init uh, action okay so and here i am calling the register rest field function okay so let me just close these files uh, not the, not the main one <laughs> okay so if you go to the rest field you can see that uh, it's introducing 4.7.2 version it accept the object type either post term comment okay uh, so we have to pass the post then the uh, the attribute the attribute name okay and then various arguments here and in object type i have passed the movie okay so uh, if you go here i have passed the movie because we have to do for the movie post type only then actors data so i have like we already have the actors so i just to avoid a confusion with the meta key information i have keep it actors underscore data okay and then it accept a get callback function so here you can see in the arguments get callback update callback so using the rest uh, by registering the rest field we have two callback function first one we have to get a callback okay get callback means you can fetch the data prepare the data and then return in the rest api response and update callback if the same meta key available uh, when we update the movie uh, post using the rest api so in that case we can also have update callback but currently we have register meta and we can use that for updating the callback function so i am not using the update callback i am just keeping the null so that it won't be executed okay when we update the movie post using the rest api and then providing the six uh, schema what are the schema we have to provide and it will be uh, it will be used for validation purpose all right um and schema is also useful uh, in the front end uh, like for especially for the developers okay um so here what i have did in the get callback function uh, i can get the movie data itself so they have mentioned that uh, callback function used to retrieve the field and then function will be passed the prepared object data okay so all the object data will be passed to this uh, movie data and from here i am getting the id and fetching the actors okay so now i instead of relying on the register meta field i am using the get post meta here because just an example like we don't want to register that meta actors right and simply i just want to add a custom rest field 
to provide all the actors data so in that case we have to we should not we cannot rely because it's not resist meta is not registered okay so uh, here i am using the get post meta then going through the actors list for this loop and i'm getting only title and the link okay and then return the actors data okay in the array and in the schema i have provided the description and type array which is the array of all the information okay it's like multi-dimensional array and then uh, the items will have object type because it's have a title and the link so i'm using the object type and i have provided properties like title and the link and title type is string and the link type is string and format is uri so using the format argument also where uh, the front in the development we can consider what kind of format uh, that property will have okay and we can accordingly we can display we can validate or sanitize in the front end too okay so if you are like uh, if you go here and remove just embed here let me and send it and now uh, you can see this actors data here title and the link title and the link right so whatever we have did with the embed and the links instead of that we can simply get a title and the link or the information we we need to get okay so similarly you can you can use the rest field maybe over instead of the re register meta so it's a vice versa like depends on the use cases right how we want to make easy in the response where we can easily get the data and display it. we don't have to make another rest api request or we don't have to call the embedded we don't have to fetch the embedded data or anything okay so this way we can also use the register rest field okay for for to modify our response okay so if you go here so similarly you can find all the examples i still recommended recommend to go through all this documentation of the rest api handbook to learn more about it okay uh, because this uh, we also like you find the usefulness of this uh, notes important notes of uh, uh, warnings and everything so that it's uh, like which is good for our knowledge and we can avoid the similar kind of mistakes right um so and that we can that we can do so yeah please go through this uh, documentation as well and you can also get the uh, um like types like we have object type so you can set you can see the schema how we can set the schema for the object type then there are added type additional properties as well so you can go through it you can go through this to learn about the different types and its schema to validate the, our output then add a meta type how we can uh, what how this add a meta type looks like and how we can make sure that we can validate using the schema and how we can do this one okay so these are the very important things okay so array type and these are the like important nodes or the flags which is very helpful for the developers okay so you can go through it uh, like after this watching the video okay yeah thanks for watching see you on the next one jai wordpress